everyone welcome back to my channel today I wanted to do a really quick video with some quick hacks and tips as to how we got Finn to transition out of his sleepy head deluxe into his normal cot bed so I am a big fan of the sleepy head I'll link the sleepy head review video that I did um, a couple of months ago down below it basically saved our bacon the first night we got him home we put him in the next to me in the cot and he was so tiny and he screamed all night and it was just way too big for him and he just felt swamped and we tried to swaddle him and it didn't work the second night we put him in the sleepy head on top of the bed in the middle of us and he slept like a dream and then the third night we put him in the sleepy head in the next to me next to me and in the next to me next to me in the chico next to me um, um, and he again slept all night and ever since then he slept pretty solidly between eight and ten hours at night in solid chunks from day four so it's been a massive massive help for us in the beginning it was also great because for the first eight weeks we didn't really put him to bed we would just put him in the sleepy head for naps downstairs or we would put him in the sleepy head for um night time and keep him downstairs with us and then once we were going to bed we'd just lift him up and take him with us so it's been absolutely fab but that said, it is meant to be from not to eight months to Sleepyhead Deluxe, but Finn is five and sort of three quarters, nearly six months, and he is well and truly growing out of it. I'll insert some footage here so you can see. I did unclip and open the bottom to try and give him a little bit more space, but he's also started to roll a lot onto his tummy and I just kind of wasn't comfortable with him in, in it anymore. So there are a couple of things that we did before we took the Sleepyhead away. The first thing is that we used the sleepy head to transition him from the Chico next to me into his big bed when he was five months, one week or something like that. So the safe sleep guidelines still say six months, but I felt like he was ready and we were all ready for a little bit of a better sleep to be honest and we have had better sleep since. So he was in the sleepy head in his room room for about two weeks before we decided to take it away, which worked really well um, because he kind of didn't know any different. He was just in the uh, sleepy head. It's the same as when we go to mum's, we take the sleepy head with us and he has it in the travel cart and he doesn't know any difference. That was part of the reason why I wanted to take the sleepy head away because as well as him growing out of it, um, we also are going on holiday to Cyprus and um, he was too big for it and the other reason is that I didn't want to buy the sleepy head grand I set a picture of it here um, it is a big investment it's about 205 pounds I think sleepy head grand and it but it is from 8 to 36 months but what I didn't want to do was buy it because we couldn't take it on holiday with us it's way too big it's like the size of a boat and um, it would fill the entire crib and it's also not great for transporting to mums and it's it's just way too big and it sort of defeats the whole object. And then what I worried about was once he was three, then we would have to transition him out of that and there is no alternative after that. So while he's still a little bit unaware and more resilient to change, I kind of wanted to get rid of it altogether. Um, otherwise, it'll, he'd be 40 and still in some sort of makeshift bespoke sleepy head thing. So... The second thing we did to um, ease the transition was we stopped using it for daytime naps. So during the day, Finn sometimes falls asleep on his play mat or he sometimes falls asleep in the sleepy head. I was actually physically putting him in the cot um, so that he could get used to just sleeping in the cot on a flat mattress or any, any other flat surface. So trying to pick him up and put him in the cot for naps without the sleepy head worked really well. So he was kind of getting used to it. And also I was up and awake. So if he did roll onto his front or if he did roll and put his hands between the bars I was there to sort of like correct that for him and he wasn't getting panicked. The main hack that I want to include in this video um, is one that I found online and it was really useful for us in the first couple of days. What you can do if your baby is really reluctant to sort of transition out of the sleepy head is you can take the sausage bit out of the outside of the sleepy head so it just unzips really easily like you would take the cover off to clean it and using the padding from the inside you can put that underneath the fitted sheet in the cot or in the bed and just position it in an arch position like it is naturally but a slightly wider one to allow your baby room if your baby's grown out of the sleepy head deluxe and then literally just attach the sheet back under the mattress like you would normally and place your baby in the middle now this can obviously grow with your baby and what you can do and what we did and found really useful was we just moved it bigger and bigger every night over the course of a week and eventually you didn't need it at all and got used to sleeping on the flat mattress without it but it just sort of helps ease that transition slightly. If you haven't got the sleepy head to begin with and you want to use something to sort of cushion your baby and you've got a newborn and you're feeling like they're a little bit lost in a big crib you can actually use rolled up towels underneath the fitted sheet in the next to me or in the car 
shop or in the Moses basket and it works exactly the same way. Similarly, it's a great travel hack because you can be able to do this on holiday and not take any equipment with you. The last tip, and I said this would be a short video because I think it's, if you're looking at this, you're probably sleep deprived and you just need short, sharp hacks. The last tip that I would say is to avoid your child getting their arms and legs, not so much their arms, there's not a lot you can do about that, but definitely their legs caught between the bars of the cart, is to put them in a sleeping bag. Now it's been absolutely boiling in England at the moment, it's the height of summer, it's been the hottest summer we've ever had, so I have bought a sheet sleeping bag that I've featured in my Jojo Mama and Bebe haul, um, and it's really thin cotton sheet completely breathable it's just like we would use on holiday like just a really thin sheet but it at least is something containing his legs and I think to put him in just a nappy and then a flat mattress so having nothing around him and then also having nothing sort of cocooning him was a complete step too far for Finn so making sure even if it is boiling hot you're putting him some sort of sleeping bag so they are my hacks and tips the last thing that I would say is stick with it so about day two when he was a little bit grumpy still and I hadn't figured out the arch under the mattress hack I very nearly caved and went and bought the grand but I put it on my Instagram poll actually on my stories and a hundred percent of people were like don't do it stick with it it's not worth it so I would say sleepyhead is brilliant from her newborn stage but at six months or eight months or however old your baby is when it grows out of it I, I think it is pretty much time to wean them out of it um, otherwise I think it would become something they are dependent on to go to sleep these hacks are really useful for me. I hope they're really useful for you. If there's anything that I've missed that you found useful, please link them down below or comment down below and include your information so that we can share it and help other people. If there's more of them, I'll make another video and include them and try them out and see if they'll work for us. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you very soon. Bye.